What is up? What is up, guys? It's Miguel Fuentes coming back at you once again. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the time that I go live. That's the time that I jump out here to give you some goodies and help you grow your business, help you get better, especially on Instagram. That's what I'm here to do for you today. Guys, today we're talking about congruency. I'm going to talk to you about what it is why it's important and why you should be doing it. And I'm also gonna include a little bit of a section on Instagram stories, which Instagram stories is amazing. If you're not using it, you need to be using it. It's fantastic. It is, will do amazing things for your Instagram account, I promise you. So this really does, keep this in mind as we move through this, guys. Every, every marketing platform is different and there are principles that go across all of them there are principles in the industry that apply to every single marketing platform um, you know social media or whatnot there are a lot of principles that can go across them now Instagram is a bit of a strange bird and it, it's really become a little different especially since the algorithm changed not too long ago mid to late last year and that really has had an impact on what we view as as useful and relevant and and good marketing for Instagram so not just remember not everything you may know applies everywhere and not everything you're gonna learn here applies over there so <laughs> If you're really serious about Instagram and Instagram marketing, this is for you. This is for you. This is to help you get better at what you're doing. So let's get into this. Let's talk about congruency. What am I talking about? When I say congruency, what I'm really talking about is a what's in it for me statement. A what's in it for me statement. Now, on Instagram, this means what have you written in your profile? What did you write in there? What are you offering people? What can they expect to get from you just by glancing at your profile? Because as we know, as marketers know, especially Instagram marketers, you have just a second or two maybe to grab someone's attention. You have just a couple of seconds to grab someone's attention. And it matters a lot how your profile is set up. If it's set up in a way where you can get someone's attention right away where they're going to click follow which by the way i highly recommend you make that top line in your profile actually say click follow literally it should tell them to click follow and some people will actually just click follow just because of that it's going to help you get followers now what are you going to write in there it just depends on what you're doing what's your overall product what's your message like for me i'll use myself as an example i do instagram marketing and I do a lot of inspiration, I do a lot of motivation and, and marketing tips, especially on Instagram. So that's what I tell people they can get by clicking follow. What do you write in your profile? Hey, what is going on? What's going on, guys? It's important that whatever you put in there should reflect what your purpose is with Instagram. If your purpose is to help people get some fitness tips, right? You're going to put fitness tips and motivation and maybe you know healthy eating or whatever that's going to go in your profile now the congruent that's a what's in it for me statement that's not a what's in it for the marketer that's a, a what's in it for your potential prospect for your potential follower what is in it for them that's what you put in your profile that's what people will follow you for they'll say oh he does you know bike riding tips. I love bike riding tips, so I'm going to click follow so I don't miss any of his posts and I want to see him when he goes live because he's going to be talking about bike riding tips. Me, I talk about a lot of motivational stuff because I think it's important to stay motivated. I think it's the most important part of marketing. I love to do motivational stuff. I love to talk about Instagram and Instagram marketing. So that's what you can expect to get when you follow me. So <laughs> that's what's written in my profile. Now here's the catch, okay? This is the catch about congruence okay especially with Instagram if you say that you're gonna do motivational and you're gonna do Instagram marketing tips and you start to do something else other than that if, if I were to tell you I'm, I'm gonna do motivational stuff and Instagram tips and then I st start posting stuff about riding bikes and weight loss that's not congruent you're not giving your fans what they came here for you're not giving your fans what they, they followed you for in the first place. That's going to cause you to lose followers. So 
The message there is whatever it is that you say that you are doing, you are posting that. Let's talk about Instagram stories because this is huge. <laughs> I'm, I'm not telling you to go out and, and stick strictly to that. But I will tell you that your feed, the majority of your feed, your profile feed should be the things that you said you were going to post about, okay? Instagram stories, that it can be a little lighter, a little looser. I like to let Instagram stories be the place where folks can come and get to know me, where they can go, go click on my Instagram story, they can come watch my live videos, they can, uh, you know, go and click on Instagram stories and see what I was up to that day, you know, am I going to the gym that day, did I, did I hang out with my son, maybe we got a couple of selfies, or my kid hijacks my phone sometimes like he's prone to do and he'll just play with the little Instagram filter faces that gives him the little brains and he thinks it's awesome and amazing or he'll put on the cool sunglasses and the little crowns or whatever. But yeah, I mean, that's where people are going to get to develop that relationship with you. That's where they're going to get to know what you're up to on a day-to-day -day basis, what your personal thoughts are about things, you know, how you feel about stuff. That is the, the best place I have found to do that is within your Instagram stories. Now, Instagram stories does two things. It does that, lets people get to know you, and it drives traffic back to your profile. Big time. Because what's the first thing you do when you see an Instagram story that, that you like? You go to that person's profile and see what they have on their profile. If you go to their profile and it says, oh, they've got a bunch of tips, of cool tips on Instagram marketing, and then they're going to click follow. Here's another tip about Instagram stories, guys. You can use hashtags in stories now. You can use hashtags inside of Instagram stories right now at this current moment with Instagram marketing. So if you do an Instagram live and you hash, you know, hashtag, like if you put a little, if you put any kind of hashtag in there, Instagram will include it into the stories for that tag. It's giving it more reach. It's giving stories more versatility, more reach. More people will be able to come and find you and locate your profile. It, all of the good things that you want are coming from that as well. So keep use your stories. Use it to let people get to know you. Stay congruent within your profile. Now we're, we're back to talking about your profile. Whatever you said was that you were going to do with your profile, make sure you're posting that kind of content into your feed because that's what your followers want. That's what they're after. You know, and the, the more you do this, the more you're going to start to see regular people coming back to you. It's, it's kind of like a snowball, especially with stories. That's why it's so important. If somebody clicks your story and they happen to be one of your followers, Instagram is going to show that person more of your posts. If they like a post, Instagram is going to show them more of that person's, of your post because they've already told Instagram that they like that kind of content. If they click your stories, they're telling Instagram they like that kind of story. So they're going to show that story again. And that's going to create a huge fan base. What's most important about all of this? As always, this is one of the fundamentals, one of the absolute base fundamentals of all marketing across the board, period, is consistency. It is absolutely a fact, consistency. None of these tips, none of these tricks, none of this stuff even matters if you can't be consistent. So focus on being consistent. And this is why I always come back to mindset. <sighs> if, if, if Instagram feels hard, you're probably just not working it hard enough. <laughs> I'm just, just telling you, once every other day is not good enough. I, I've, I've seen accounts that post up to six times a day more than that sometimes some are like every hour some are once a day but you must remain consistent with your content and putting it out there making sure it's the right content that you said you were going to put out in your in your profile and that's going to make a big difference on the the targeting for one because you're going you're gonna to be able to target the right audience that's looking for you. Instagram is going to tell them that you indicated you like this kind of content, so here's more of the same kind of content, and they'll show it to that person. So <laughs> it's a little bit different, but there are some fundamentals. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I absolutely appreciate you all being here. Guys, you have questions, you have concerns, you need some help with something, let me know. Shoot me a direct message on Instagram at Miguel J. Fuentes. And as always, 
If you'd like to get your hands on the top five Instagram mistakes that I see happening all the time um, on Instagram, which I think this training is more relevant now, even more than than when I first shot it. <laughs> like, it's a 35 minute training and it's it's becoming evergreen. It's becoming so good that that it's 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 just applicable across the board. So go check that out at Miguel J. Fuentes. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure I, I left the link here in the description for this video, um, for this audio, for this mini podcast, because mini podcast sounds fancy. So <laughs> the link's in the description. Uh, head on over to my profile, give a follow, say hello, and grab that training. Tom Chase, what is going on, buddy? Okay, guys, I am out. Much love. Have an amazing day, guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.